When Killian releases a new fragrance, I am always interested. So I picked up Apple Brandy on the rocks and today I'm here to share with you my first thoughts on it. If you're interested, then just keep watching. Before we get into the video, I do want to quickly introduce myself for those of you who may be new here. My name is Aisha. I make videos about fragrance, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. If those are things you're into, please consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So I am super excited for today's video because I get to try out this baby here. This came in the mail for me actually last night, but I worked all day yesterday and then after, you know, dealing with kids and all that. By the time I was able to kind of relax, it was already like nine o'clock then. So I, there was no point in me trying to try it for an hour before I went to bed. So <laughs> here I am today and I'm so excited. I have been wanting to try this since it came out. Um, if you did not know, Killian is releasing two new fragrances and they will be a part of the liquors collection. So the liquors collection currently includes angel share and roses on ice and then the two new fragrances that they will be adding to that are apple brandy on the rocks and another fragrance which i will insert here because i cannot pronounce it i have tried <laughs> but that one is all about absinthe so this fragrance i was surprised when i saw that sephora had in the stock they sent me an email and this was pictured on the email i immediately ordered it <laughs> I initially didn't know if I was going to order this just because I have the original Apple Brandy, but I did. So here we are. Without further ado, let's get to it. So if you've never seen one of these videos from me, basically I give you guys my very first impression of the fragrance from first smell. And then within the same video, I will come back a few days later and let you guys know what I ended up thinking of it after I've tested it out for multiple wears. So here we go. Let's open it up. So here's what the box looks like and there's the bottle which is gorgeous i love these bottles so this bottle is fully glass except for the cap the cap is plastic but it is a very durable plastic i know a lot of people don't like that the cap is plastic however i like it because i do drop tops all time <laughs> and if this was glass it would shatter there's a hole there where the top has to go and i just feel like this this is okay with me with it being plastic. So let's get into the fragrance. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I can't smell it from here. So let's get a little strip. I'll spray it on the strip first. Hmm, this is actually fresh. I did not expect that. Hmm. Okay, so right now I'm smelling like fresh apple. It does have some booziness to it, but this is definitely not what I was expecting. If you've ever smelled apple brandy, it is like straight liquor smelling. <laughs> very sweet, very boozy. This to me has a definite freshness to it. Like you're eating an apple and, have, and you have a drink right next to you. Okay, let's spray it on skin. This is not what I was expecting. So we'll see how it smells on skin. Okay, so on my skin, I am definitely getting more of the booziness. It still does smell like fresh apple, which I am actually enjoying, but I can definitely smell the booziness come out a little bit better on my skin. So this is not overly sweet. It's kind of fresh and boozy and a little sweet. And I also feel like feel like I smell some sort of oak um, or wood. Mmm, I'm liking it though. There's something, I almost feel like there's some sort of mint in this as well. I don't know the notes. <laughs> I looked at the notes very briefly when I first heard about this fragrance. But when I decided I was going to order it, at that point I don't look at the notes because I like to just have my own impression of it. And then when I come back to you guys for the second part of this video, we'll talk about the notes. So... I'm loving this. I'm very surprised. I purposely have not watched any reviews, read anything on this fragrance, and I, this is completely blind by for me, and I'm really enjoying this. So, 
uh, as of right now, this is a love. I will come back in a few seconds for you guys. For me, it'll be a few days and we'll talk more about how the fragrance smells, the performance of it, any comparisons that I have. And also I will let you know if this ended up being a love, a like, or a let down for me. So stay tuned for more. So I am back for the second portion of this video and I want to apologize in advance if you guys can hear my kids in the background because they are here. This is Saturday and I am trying to get this video filmed so I can have it up for you guys on Sunday. So hopefully you guys are seeing this on Sunday. But I'm back. It's been two days since I filmed the first portion of this video. Typically I wait longer but because of the hype of this fragrance I really wanted to get this video out to you guys so I've been wearing it non-stop. So that means to bed. I've sprayed it on multiple times per day. I've worn it and asked people questions about it. So <laughs> I've been testing it out for y'all. So I am ready to give you guys my thoughts on it. So first let's talk about how it smells. So this fragrance really surprised me as you guys saw in the previous portion of this video. It does not smell like heavy liquor, which is what I kind of expected. I expected it to smell like apple brandy or like some sort of really heavy cognac drink, um, which I happen to love the smell of those drinks. However, this opens with a kind of like fruity fresh tone almost like a granny smith apple i don't believe that apple is even a note in this fragrance at least not a listed note however i definitely get some apple vibes from it and i definitely get that bright kind of citrus and almost aromatic feel to the opening of this fragrance as it dries down i do get more of like a sweeter boozy apple scent which is kind of what i was expecting but you still kind of have that freshness to the fragrance. That never goes away. It just kind of dies down as time goes on. So this fragrance is marketed as unisex and I agree with that. I know that because of the aromatic nature of this, I'm assuming some people will probably say this lean is masculine, but to me, I think it sits pretty, pretty much at the middle, unisex. All right, so now let's talk about the longevity and projection. So on me, this fragrance lasts probably about five to six hours. And I will say most of that time period, is kind of a skin scent. <laughs> I am quite disappointed in that actually, because it opens up really nice and it, it projects initially. Um, I would say it probably projects I would, probably at least about four or five feet and then it kind of dies down and kind of turns into a skin scent on me so i have been spraying this on my clothes which i typically do that's not nothing new but i feel like on me it turns into a skin scent after about the three hour mark which i think i don't know i wish it would last longer now i have not tried this in the cold weather so maybe it will perform better in the cold but as of right now where it's super hot and i have been sweating both of these days when i've been out I've only been able to smell on myself for about three hours. One thing I do want to know is when I wore this to bed last night, I was able to smell it on myself this morning. However, I sprayed it right before going to bed. So let's say it lasted about eight hours overnight, but I wasn't doing anything. I was just sleeping. I didn't sweat in my sleep. So keep that in mind. I will have to keep testing this out to see how it performs under cooler conditions. It has been extremely hot and humid here. And for me, most of my fragrances don't last that well in the heat and humidity. So I think this fragrance smells like it is perfect for all seasons. I think the apple brandy part of it will work well in the cold weather. And I think the freshness of it allows me to wear it during summer without feeling like it's overpowering. As far as where I would wear this fragrance, basically anywhere. So even though this is a boozy scent, it's not so boozy. I feel like I can wear this to work. I can wear it to church even. <laughs> I could wear this anywhere and I really like that about it. I think because of the combination of notes, it just allows it to be a very versatile type scent. I actually think this smells very unique. I did go sniffing my fragrance collection earlier today to see if I could find something that to compare with it. And I do have one thing, which is gonna be the obvious choice that I'll talk about in a second. But other than that, I really could not find a good comparison for it. And I do think it smells very unique. I think they did a great job of combining that freshness with the boozy liquor scent. And yeah, it smells unique to me. 
Now, as far as comparisons, of course, I want to compare it to the OG Apple Brandy from By Killian. I have had this fragrance for about a year, I believe. I think I got it around my birthday last year. And I love this one. This one to me smells like straight liquor. <laughs> this one is a lighter, fresher take on that. So I do think they smell similar, especially in the dry down, but this one is probably 10 times more potent as far as the liquor note goes <laughs> than this one. This one to me, although it smells boozy, I don't even know that somebody walking by you would think it would smell boozy. Whereas with this, you may be mistaken as being drunk. <laughs> that's how much, that's how much it smells like liquor. Um, I'm joking, but I'm kind of being serious. Like, I don't think people think you smell drunk wearing this, but it definitely smells like a old fashioned or some sort of cognac drink with apple. So Apple Brandy on the Rocks only comes in a 50 ml size. This is a refillable bottle like most of the Bicolian fragrances and this retails for 195 US dollars. All right, so we are at the end and I'm getting ready to tell you if this is a love, a like, or a letdown for me. I want you guys to go ahead and leave a comment down below and let me know what you think it's gonna be. And if you've never seen these videos before, know that I always do this and know that it is required for you to leave that comment <laughs> and tell me which one you think it's gonna be for me. So I'll wait. Okay, that was enough time. So for me, this fragrance is a da -da -da -da, like. <laughs> I really thought this was gonna be a love. If it was based on scent alone, it would definitely be a love, but I hate the fact that I can't smell this on myself too much. I don't care about beast mode fragrances, but at the same time, I don't really like skin scents either because I feel like I want to be able to smell them on myself without doing this. And yes, I can smell this on myself when I sniff it, but I wish that, especially after spraying my clothes and after over applying, that I could sp smell it more on myself after three hours so i think that's disappointing because this smells so good and i deserve to smell it that's why i bought it so i was really disappointed in the performance and i thought it was just me so i've been asking like my husband and anybody i'm around to see if they smell it i have actually been on lunch date no compliments no comments gave the person a hug they didn't comment husband hasn't commented i've actually like put my arm in his face to see if he smells it and he's like mm, i don't really smell anything <laughs> so that's disappointing for me but because i love the scent so much i feel like it sits in the middle as a like i will be wearing this some more so keep an eye out for future videos from me um to let you know if something changes i'm hoping that over time this will perform better maybe if i let it sit some i don't know it's a brand new fragrance so i know sometimes with shipping and everything that can kind of alter the performance of a fragrance or alter the smell a little bit um i don't know we'll see i'm hoping it turns into a love because i absolutely love the scent of this fragrance i just don't like the performance so i know this is a brand new fragrance but i'm interested to hear if any of you all have tried it what did you think of it Will you be trying it? Um, is this on your wish list or does this sound like blah for you? Let us know down below. I would love to know your thoughts and opinions on it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Also make sure you follow me over on Instagram where I always give you guys sneak peeks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.